I know this came up for me personally when I developed a tickle in my throat and a little cough with some sneezing. When I'd talk to people, they would ask if I was okay, and the answer that it was just my fall allergies just didn't seem satisfactory. This year, think about timing, symptoms, and exposure. A cough, maybe a runny nose. Unlike in years past, these days, those symptoms will get you a sideways glance in public. Now, timing-wise, if you've had fall allergies in past years, if your symptoms are similar, it would be a good bet that you have fall allergies again. Influenza is very unlikely right now, since there isn't any place in the U.S. with significant flu activity yet. Once we get to November, though, the flu will be more likely than allergies for many. Similar reasoning applies to COVID-19. Right now, in most of Michigan, new case numbers have remained steady, and we aren't on an increase in case trajectory. If you have the same fall allergy symptoms you always do, it's more likely that's the answer. Now, as COVID activity changes, possibly increasing into late fall and winter, COVID may become more likely than even the flu. You also need to consider your symptoms. Symptoms that make it more likely to be allergies include itchy eyes and sneezing. Now, a fever or body aches make it unlikely that it's an allergy. COVID or influenza are more likely in that case. Now, distinguishing the flu from COVID is very challenging, but shortness of breath, vomiting, or diarrhea are more common with COVID than the flu, and they also make allergies unlikely. Finally, think about your exposures. If you become aware that you were exposed to COVID, especially because it can present with minimal to no symptoms, you need to take any symptoms seriously and get tested. Now, practically speaking, if you have any serious symptoms like fever, body aches, shortness of breath, or a significant cough, you should definitely consider getting tested for COVID. Now, if your symptoms are minor and just like other allergies that you've had, consider factors like the seasonal timing and discuss it with your doctor. Depending on your employer, you might still fail a symptom screening and need to be tested before you're cleared for work, even if you just have allergies. 